I just saved a baby dolphin. So I'm on board the James Clark Ross. We've just stopped off in the Falkland Islands on the way to the Southern Ocean to refuel. And close to the refueling station, there's a place called Bertha's Beach, which is kind of named after um, the ship that ran aground there ages ago. So I was faffing around, kind of getting ready and everyone else left. And I was like, okay, well fine, I'm just gonna go for a walk by myself then. Because this was the last time that we were gonna see land for seven weeks potentially. So it was really great to kind of walk along this beach so I thought, you know what? This is a perfect opportunity for me to try out my GoPro. So I attached it to my head and I just went for this leisurely walk along the beach. And it was a really kind of sunny, hot day, but it was also really blustery. And I'm just kind of walking along and it was great. Like I saw sea foam, I found um, some war memorials, which um, the Falklands is full of them because of the Falklands War. And then I kind of went up on top of this ridge and I looked down and I could see two people from the ship kind of faffing around in the surf. And I was like, oh, look what they're up to. They're trying to get something out of the water. Just as I kind of started walking down, my GoPro went beep, 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 and completely ran out of batteries. So I was like, oh, typical. So I walked down towards them and I said, guys, what are you trying to get out of the sea? And they said, we're not trying to get something out of the sea. We're trying to put something back in it. See, we were walking along the beach and we stumbled across a baby dolphin right up at the high tide mark. And we thought it was dead and they gave it a nudge and it let out a noise. So Amber, the ship's doctor, she picked up the dolphin and it kind of pooped all down her. And then they kind of carried it over to the surf. But because it had been out of water on this like hot day, it was all kind of dried and shriveled and it was really tired. And so the waves just kept kind of like rolling it back in towards the beach and it was just kind of flobbering around in the surf. That's totally a verb, by the way, flobbering. Flobbering around in the surf. And I kind of saw it and was like, oh my God, baby dolphin. And I'd like to be like, yes, I was so heroic and I knew exactly what I needed to do. But I was just like, oh, whoa, poor baby dolphin. So I took all my clothes off, off my pants and this hat, and I just scooped the baby dolphin up. And I walked into the sea and I kind of held it there in my arms. And it was just the weirdest experience to stand there in this quite cold water, just holding a baby dolphin. And then after a while, I was like, come on, I'm getting cold and kind of gave it a little bit of encouragement like that with my arms. And it swam away and then clearly decided it wasn't ready and circled around and came back to me and lied in my arms again. So another 10 minutes I was there in the water until eventually it went. So the really cool thing about this type of dolphin that it was, it was a Peel's dolphin. And Peel's dolphins and Cummerson dolphins are the two species of dolphins that are found around the southern tip of South America and around the Falkland Islands and they quite often work together and one of their ways that they catch fish is to surf the waves up the beach and they kind of trap the fish in the shallow water, get the fish and then kind of wiggle backwards into the sea. But clearly this baby dolphin had timed the wave wrong or had maybe gone on too big a wave and it got stranded. Now a lot of people are like, what did the baby dolphin feel like? And if you want to know what a baby dolphin feels like, then just get a aubergine. Baby dolphins feel like an aubergine, exactly like aubergines. So yeah, there you go. I saved a baby dolphin. What an amazing experience. Thanks for listening guys and be sure to like and subscribe below.